What's going on reefers? We are at Lyona Environmental Center today. Today we're gonna to be putting in a dual tank and touch tank for the environmental center here. Really excited about this one. We're gonna be hooking them up with an awesome touch pool tank. It's gonna be a lot of fun for this video. We're gonna be setting it up, showing you guys some of the environmental center as well. We're gonna go ahead and dive into this build and check out what we got. The first task at hand was getting the old touch tank out of the facility. We started by removing all the current invert residents and all the rock in the system. The center before our arrival pulled all the fish out of the tank, making things nice and easy so we could focus on breaking the system down. One of the last critters in the tank was this coral banded shrimp that made its way to the bucket. After removing the rocks, the next thing to tackle was the sand bed. To speed up the process, we used a couple dust pans to scoop out the sand and dumped it into a brood trash can. With the tank empty, it was time to get the plumbing disconnected and get ready to move this beast of a tank. We made our plan of attack, popped the returns off, sucked out the remainder of the water in the sump space, and it was time to get to lifting. It took all four of us on site to get this tank shifted and off the stand. Utilizing the suction cups you often see in our videos to help give us a nice grip on the tank and be able to handle the weight. Once the tank made its way off the stand, we laid down blankets to ensure the flooring would be safe as we slid the tank out of the facility. We finally pulled the tank out. We've got it out of the main facility. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start pulling the stand, getting the sump out, and then it's time to get the brand new system into the center. With the tank out, we still had one more big lift to make. The team pulled the sump and all the remaining equipment down below, and the last thing to remove was the big bulky stand. Like the tank, it took all four of us to get this stand lifted onto its end and brought out of the lobby area. All right, we've got the stand out. That was a heavy, heavy stand. Really excited we were able to get that thing out all in one piece, all safely as well. Now what we're gonna be doing is getting the new tank, the new stand, the new sump, all the new things inside, getting things plumbed out, getting things ready to go. Let's get everything inside. Out with the old and in with the new. The time had come to begin unloading the new tank system. A dual tank setup, one of them being a brand new touch tank. For this system, we went ahead and had Poseidon's Creation hop on board and get this tank all built out. We have this tank, the touch tank, the sump, all of it was done by Poseidon's Creation. Big shout out to them, another beautiful system by them. Most of the sumps for all of our custom builds are gonna have Poseidon Creation sumps underneath. But for this system, we were lucky enough to have them get on board and do the entire tank system for us. What a hero! And the hero comes along. Not all heroes wear top shelf shirts. Sump ATO Reservoir making its way in. I'm telling you guys, this thing is a beautiful tank. Well done again, Poseidon's Creations. The stand made by our in-house tank builder, Derek, was the perfect fit for the Lyonia Center. After offloading, we got the stand into the lobby and began measuring out to get the system perfectly centered over the lights. Stand in place, we cut the holes for the electrical. The sum from Poseidon's Creations was an absolute beauty. Once that was inside, it was time to start shifting it into place underneath the stand. Christian got right to work prepping the roller mats and the rest of the equipment. Then in came the touch tank to be the first onto the stand of the two for plumbing purposes. With plastic wrap off, you can start to see how gorgeous these tanks really are. Once in place, we rolled in the big tank for us to get onto the stand. Some plumbing was needed to be done down below on the touch tank before the big tank could go on top. Gene and Daiko snagged the suction cups and got the big tank onto the stand. With the second tank in place, the vision started to come alive. The crew from Lyonia got a breakdown of some of the equipment as it made its way out of its packaging. With tanks in place, it was go time. As you guys can see, we've got the tank in, both tanks. We have the touch tank and the full tank up top. And what we're gonna be doing now is getting everything plumbed in. We're gonna start getting all the PVC, getting all of the equipment online, the roller mats, the skimmers, all those things. So that way we can start scaping this tank, getting sand in, getting rocking, getting this thing ready to go. Once again, the team got right to work down below, starting to plumb the rest of the sump out. These custom plumbing jobs, especially this dual tank setup, brings a lot of interesting challenges along the way to get this system online. I started snagging Carapsy sand and getting the touch tank filled out. This tank needs a nice layer of sand for all the critters that are gonna be living down below in the sand bed. All 
All right, we have Christian setting up the touch tank now. We're getting the scape all ready to go. We're trying to make sure we keep the scape nice and low so that way when kids are getting their hands in there, they're not rocking, knocking any rocks over, getting too crazy. So really excited to see this thing get scaped out. We've got sand in the big tank and then we'll scape everything out as we go. With sand in the main tank as well, it was time to get to scaping. Christian scaped out the touch tank with the idea in mind that we didn't want a ton of rock in there due to so many hands going in and out of the system throughout the day. For the rock, we chose the Carib Sea Life Rock. Really excited about using the shapes, arches, and we also have a couple of the big caves, a couple of the big plateaus. Really excited about using Carib Sea. We definitely use them on almost all of our custom builds. We have the Life Rock, and we also have the Carib Sea Sand in here. So let's go ahead and keep scaping. Filling up the touch tank began, and with water entering the system, you could see the finish line ahead. The big tank presented a much bigger canvas to work with, and this being a full-on aquarium, we had a lot of opportunity to play around with the rock work in here. Breaking up some of the rocks to help give us a natural touch of rubble along the sand bed, one of my favorite things to add as final touches on a system. Scape is starting to come together. We have all of the different ups and downs, the arches, all of the things making this thing totally come alive. It's really coming together nicely. We're taking our time trying to get the perfect fits for all of these different rocks. The shapes and the arches really have kind of created a nice structure for this entire tank. Down below though, the sump work was coming along and almost finished. After the scape was all finished up, we focused on wrapping up the sump area. The system altogether was roughly 240 gallons on the main display, 85 gallons for the touch tank, and 100 gallons sump down below, making the total water volume of the system roughly 425 gallons in total. As you can see, the tank is starting to fill up. We're a couple inches away from the top, getting to the teeth. Once the water cascades over, we'll be going into the sump. We wanna finish up the last of our gluing, the last of the electrical. Once that happens, we can go ahead and turn this thing online. So how long has the facility here been open? It's uh, opened in 2009. Okay, since 2009 it's been open. And then that original touch tank that you guys had, how long did you had to have that before? About, we're going on six years. Six a years? Little, yeah, a little bit more than six years. What thing especially have you been most excited for, for this system? Um, well, the convenience of being able to take care of the equipment, the maintenance aspect of it. And it goes without saying, the aesthetics. For sure, I think, you know, it's definitely Derek, uh, building out the stand and then Poseidon's Creations, they did an amazing job with all three of the vessels, whether that be the main display, the touch tank, or the sump. We were talking about it earlier. You were showing me the murals on the wall, the other tanks. Kind of walk that through with me. Absolutely. So here at Lyonia Environmental Center, we try to educate visitors on different aspects of scrub habitat and its importance to the scrub jays and gopher tortoises. And we bring that all inside so that you get to experience it, um, whether you're going out on the trails or you're just coming into the center to visit. Then you walk into here where we're standing and the new tank is. This is called the discovery room. And this discovery room is home to also two other tanks. Supposed to talk about the springs to the river to the ocean, eventually ending up in the middle where the saltwater tank is. Very cool. I, you know, much like a biotope style, uh, you see it a lot in the hobby where people want to create specific areas of the world. And this is a great example of what the scrub used to be and, mm -hmm. and what it's what, what it could be now here in the touch tank. So again, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you for chatting with me, talking about the facility, the system, 
And if you guys want to, be sure to head down into the description down below. We'll have the facility linked, we'll have their social media linked. And if you guys are local to the area up in Deltona or anywhere in Florida, you guys should definitely make the trip out here. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you come see it run and it's going to look amazing. All right, reefers, and just like that, it's a wrap here at Lyona Science Center. Really excited about seeing this tank up and rolling. We've got both the touch tank and the big display behind me running, nice and quiet, and we're really excited to see this new system in place. If you guys are really interested in coming down, checking out the Science Center, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Check out their social medias, come on out. It's free, you guys wanna take your kids, definitely stop by. I wanna say thank you so much for you guys tuning in. Stay until the end. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads.